Hello and welcome to Horror Monster Collectibles where today we're going to be taking a look at this super awesome morning wood figure from Death by Toys. So let's go ahead and pointlessly spin it around and take a closer look. All right, so let's go ahead and take a close look at this morning wood. I love Dan over at Death by Toys. He does killer, killer stuff, and uh, he just has a hilarious sense of humor, and I freaking love it. I hope that you guys enjoy stuff like this too. Uh, this is not too hard or too soft, uh, ideal for pitching a tent, and uh, the contents are one stiff piece of morning wood and it's just freaking hilarious i i love it no there is no point to this there is no point don't read too deep into this at all it's just a super fun little action figure and uh he does it very well though i love the print he always has nice crisp graphics and it's always printed on a nice heavy cardstock and a clean lexan bubble on there and we'll take a close look at the morning wood, which is obviously just probably some random piece of wood in his backyard that he cut up and stuck on a cardstock. But it works in many, many ways, and I think it's hilarious, and I'm stoked to have it in my collection. As always, he includes a cert for you, and uh, he also includes a decal as well. All right guys, so that's about all there is to go over on this piece. And I use the term piece uh, loosely. If you are looking for a deeper meaning in life, you are not going to find it with Death by Toys. Uh, what he does is just uh, silly and stupid. And that is the literal point of it, is to be a stupid thing that you shouldn't spend money on. And I can't help myself. I think it's freaking funny. Obviously this is not expensive but uh i think it's great and he comes up with these just random things like this and he'll do like a small little run uh, and they usually sell out within hours and then he'll do like a re-release so there's a chance that you can catch this again if it's something that you're interested in if you just want to get to know his stuff more he's on facebook and uh he has quite the following and i absolutely love this kind of release it doesn't exactly fit in my horror collection, but I grew up a three and three quarter guy because I was playing with all of the Star Wars figures uh, in the late 70s, early 80s. And I still love that cardstock and that look, and I still have a large three and three quarter figure collection, and this fits right in with that. As always, feel free to leave any questions or comments. I'm sure you have some questions about my sanity. Uh, I question that too, but uh, at this point, you can only laugh at life, especially at this year of 2020. Uh, I need stupid things like this to keep me entertained. And uh, as always, feel free to like and subscribe and click the bell for notifications for new videos. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.